Welcome to another episode of the Pacific Growth Strategies Chalk Talk. In today's episode, we take a look at return on equity, which is a ratio we use to help better understand profitability. Now let's take a look at it on the chalkboard. Okay, let's take a look at return on equity on the chalkboard. Our formula is net income divided by average shareholders equity. Again, return on equity equals our net income divided by our average shareholders equity for the period. Our components will start with our period range of January 1st through March 31st in this case. Our shareholders equity at the beginning of the period will be found on the January 1st balance sheet, in this case is $350,000. Our shareholders equity end of period will be found on the March 31st balance sheet, and that's $370,000. Net income will be found on the income statement or profit and loss, dated January 1st through March 31st, in this case $60,000. Let's take a look at the calculation now that we have our formula and our components. We'll start with our net income of $60,000. And we'll divide that by our average shareholders equity, which is $350,000 beginning of period, plus our $370,000 end of period shareholders equity, divided by two. Continuing the calculation, we have our $60,000 dollars of net income divided by our average shareholders equity for the period of three hundred sixty thousand dollars sixty thousand divided by the three hundred sixty thousand dollars gives us a return on equity of sixteen point seven percent okay so as we found out in the case study the return on equity was sixteen point seven percent is that good well it depends on the industry and the business itself. But what does return on equity tell us? Well, return on equity measures how well a company is performing relative to the owner's investment. The higher the percentage, the better the return. For more information on how return on equity can help your business and cash flow, visit us at PacificGrowthStrategies.com and book a free discovery call. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, we wish you continued success.